So what exactly is Thousand Eyes? Well, Thousand Eyes is a company that was acquired by Cisco. In fact, Thousand Eyes has been around for quite a while at this point. It was founded in 2010, and then in 2020, this is when Cisco acquired them. In fact, I remember going to Cisco Live back before Cisco's acquisition and learning a lot about Thousand Eyes. <laughs> Cisco Live is their large annual uh, tech conference. They actually have it in multiple places around the world every year. And I went out there, uh, out there one year to learn about all of the different products in the Cisco ecosystem. And Thousand Eyes was, they had a big old booth there and they were touting exactly what uh, what we could do with Thousand Eyes. And so they, I remember seeing the whole demonstration and walking away thinking this, this product might actually get acquired by Cisco before long and lo and behold, they were. So Thousand Eyes was not developed by Cisco nor was it any kind of Cisco investment. They truly went out and made the purchase of Thousand Eyes because of how naturally it fit into their own product portfolio. And so what this is, as we mentioned, is it is a software as a service offering. This means that we do not need to deploy anything on premise. I don't need to deploy any kind of virtual machines, any kind of servers. None of this is going to be required because it exists out in the cloud in the Thousand Eyes infrastructure. Now, also notice that this is only software as a service, as an offering. Cisco specifically tries really hard when they have a SaaS offering to create an on-prem version because this can have security concerns for a lot of organizations. If you work for an organization that says that we must not load any kind of sensitive information into a public cloud environment, then this product is going to be a challenge to get deployed because we're uploading a lot of sensitive information, such as the IP addresses of all of the nodes on our network is going to be in the Thousand Eyes SaaS offering and so we do always need to consider things from a security perspective. Naturally, Thousand Eyes would argue that they have all the security in place needed to keep your information safe, but this is going to be a conversation from an internal perspective for organizations where this is a concern. Because once again, there is no on-prem option. This is truly only a software as a service. So the way this works is I'm going to log on to my computer here, and I, as an admin, will point my web browser to the Thousand Eyes URL, which once again is this SaaS offering. And I'm going to have an entire interface that's there in my web browser. And we're going to fire this up here very shortly and see exactly what Thousand Eyes looks like. And one of the best news in all of this is that uh, anyone can create an account and log in to Thousand Eyes. And so this is gonna make it a lot simpler for us to actually lab it up and make sure we're configuring it and getting some good experience with Thousand Eyes before the end of this course. Now, when, one thing we said is that Thousand Eyes is taking data from all over the place. So where does Thousand Eyes get its information? Well, it gets its information from agents. This is the important part of Thousand Eyes, or at least one of the many important parts <laughs> and components that we're going to be drilling deeper into throughout this course. But we actually have three different agent types that we're going to need to become familiar with. One of which is known as the cloud agents. Our cloud agents are going to feed information into Thousand Eyes, and this is specifically going to tie into cloud types of products. And so what are we talking about here? Well, when we say cloud, we are referring to software as a service offerings, but we're also talking about our ISPs. So basically what we're saying here is that cloud consists of anything external to our networks. And the best news, as I already said earlier, is that these are all pre-deployed. I don't have to go out and deploy cloud agents. I don't have to call my SaaS provider or my ISP and request that they deploy agents, unless maybe they don't have them deployed yet, in which case I might bug them about it, especially if I'm a big customer of theirs. But ultimately, they have been pre-deployed by Thousand Eyes and Cisco. 
And so this is where we don't need to worry about going out and doing this part ourselves. In fact, I can log in today and create a new account and immediately start running tests via the cloud agents that exist throughout the world. And all of these places where Cisco has deployed them. Now we do have these other two agent types. One is the enterprise agent. And the purpose of the enterprise agent is for me to deploy this onto my network. I can truly deploy enterprise agents for a thousand eyes on my Cisco Catalyst switches. Now I'm gonna to need to make sure that my switches are licensed and they have space for me to deploy this agent onto them. But ultimately by doing so, I'm going to get a lot of insights into my own network. The last one, and this is a big one, would be the endpoint agent. The endpoint agent, as the name implies, is going to go onto my endpoints, namely my clients, my PCs, etc. This is going to be absolutely huge. So let's see here, let's draw these arrows. So enterprise is going up there, our endpoints are going up there, but it's huge because I keep saying that this is meant to be a global end-to-end -end type of application that's telling me what's happening everywhere. Well, if I wanna know what's happening everywhere, I need to have an agent on the endpoint here, basically on the, the device that is experiencing whatever issues I'm having. And then we've got all of these network devices in here, switches, routers, WAN links, etc. All of these, so this is for the endpoint agent here. All of these are also going to have agents installed. These would be the enterprise agents. And as we might imagine, I am responsible as the network admin for deploying these agents. Unfortunately, the day I spin up Thousand Eyes, chances are the agents aren't on my network devices and chances are they're not already running on all of my user PCs. So I am responsible for deploying the agents. But the network doesn't end there, does it? That was part of the whole point of the last conversation. So now we have ISPs and we have agents throughout the ISPs and we even have some in our software as a service uh, providers. So we've got a bunch of other agents in there. And so these are going to be the cloud agents. And once again, these are already there. These are the ones that are pre-deployed. So we don't need to worry about deploying the cloud agents. And like I said, we can actually do tests pretty much right away when we create a Thousand Eyes account, thanks to the cloud agents that are already deployed. Now, as far as the rest of the Thousand Eyes experience, a lot of it is going to revolve around the tests, as well as alerts. So what we want to do with Thousand Eyes is we want to be running, again, proactively. We don't wanna to have to wait until there's an issue. And so the idea here is that I'm going to configure a test and these tests are going to run every so often. So I might say that I want to run a test out to a particular application. So I select a group of endpoints, maybe all of the users at a particular site. So this could be a lot of endpoints. And I want to run a test out to my SaaS provider. Maybe this is a Salesforce test. And I'm gonna say, let's make sure Salesforce is online. And so I'm gonna run this test every 10 minutes. And what's gonna happen here is we're going to accumulate a lot of data over the course of time. And we're also going to notice when Salesforce starts to have an issue, or for that matter, when these endpoints start to have an issue. So one of two things can happen. Either we can get alerted when there's a problem, or if there's not the right alert set up and maybe something happens we weren't expecting, we at least have the ability to log in and get a visualization of what exactly is happening. And so ideally it's alerting because this is the proactive side of things. And so I see, let's say that there is a WAN issue. Something in the middle here is having a problem and we know that this is going to impact our Salesforce uh, experience. It's gonna ex probably impact a lot of different experiences, but in this case, let's say we just have a test running out to this particular uh, SaaS application. And so we see now proactively that there's a WAN issue and I can log in and start to work on it. Furthermore, if for whatever reason, again, we don't get the alert and somebody here does end up opening up a ticket, 
then I can log into Thousand Eyes and pull up these tests that have been running and get that visualization that says, hey, there is again this WAN issue or whatever the situation is. Maybe the issue is, again, it could be anywhere. It could be on the endpoints themselves. It could be in Salesforce. It could be in the network in between. And we know that these agents are kind of giving us that end-to-end -end look that tell us exactly what the problem is and where it is. Now, my job is still to log in and fix it, but we have, again, created this proactive method of identifying issues, and I can very quickly move to the troubleshooting, the actual restoration of service as quickly as possible, thanks to Thousand Eyes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click here to subscribe to CBT Nuggets and click the notification bell to make sure that you're aware of every time we post new content. If you're interested in a career in IT or you want to brush up on your IT skills, then swing over to our website and while you're there, be sure to sign up for a free trial.